Ah, you are very punctual. I wanted to discuss with you that recently, Miss Lilac has been acting rather strange. While she usually frequents the bookstore, recently she has been going to the noodle shop instead. What's wrong with the noodle shop? Noodles are pretty good. I apologize. I have no bias against noodles. What I mean is, Miss Lilac's least favorite food is noodles. She even said, noodles being the Protag's favorite food, that's so last year. It's a new year now. Have some creativity. Lilac seems to be quite the comic nerd. In addition, according to what her chauffeur and bodyguard said, she even skipped her extra classes today. This is completely unprecedented. Miss Lilac has always been well behaved and never skips classes. Even in her free time, she spends it almost entirely reading comics. I have a suspicion that this all might have to do with that so-called Mockingbird organization. Did the Phantom Thieves teach Lilac bad habits? Yes, I believe so. In any case, in order to ensure that there are no potential threats to her safety, I wish to do some investigating at the places she frequents. If I could be so bold as to ask you to accompany me, I believe you are likely more familiar with Lumina Square than I am. Sure. I can be a proxy for Lumina Square, too. I've memorized the locations of all the stores there. Although I am not quite sure I understand, I trust that it was a very amusing joke. Ah, yes. There was something else I wished to discuss with you. May I call you Master while investigating, just in case. I believe using this to cover our identities will be more convenient for us. By all means, go ahead. Thank you for your cooperation. Then, let us begin from the noodle shop.
I did not expect Miss Lilac would actually work here part-time. Logically speaking, she would not lack pocket money to spend, unless... Perhaps she's saving up to purchase something particularly expensive. Is it possible that Lilac wants to instead buy that painting she was going to steal? As expected of a great proxy such as yourself, you came to this conclusion immediately as well. Lilac's parents have been planning to sell a batch of paintings recently. That painting is amongst them, and I hear it was reserved a couple of days ago. But that painting is not cheap. If I had to guess, I'd say it costs about... Wait a second. How much? Could someone her age really afford something like that? Well, in terms of material wealth, my employer is indeed quite affluent. Material wealth? Is there another kind of wealth? <sighs> Miss Lilac's parents are usually exceptionally busy and are unable to spend time with her. However, they are very strict and expect the best from her. No matter what she is doing, she usually has a chauffeur or bodyguards to accompany her. Well, excuse me, monitor her actions would be a more apt way to put it. Every day after school, Miss Lilac also has endless extracurricular and supplementary classes to attend, though she may have material wealth. Is she truly happy? I've been wondering ever since I took over attendant duties for this household. Perhaps that is exactly why Miss Lilac spends so much time with her comics. At the very least, in the world of comic book fiction, she is free. You really are a good person. You flatter me, but I may not be how you think I am. Someone once told me that family is an everlasting, unavoidable curse placed upon a person. No matter how much you grow, no matter where you go, that curse will forever follow you like a shadow. When you fall to rock bottom or climb to your peak, it will appear, turning you back into that helpless, powerless child who can do nothing but hide in the closet and weep. Perhaps it is because I have never known the feeling of being bonded to someone through blood, but I've always believed that family should not be a curse, as they had told me. Family can be full of warmth, there to support you every step of the way. It seems you and your kin are quite close. I am sincerely happy to know that. I believe Lilac chose to work part-time due to her family as well. Perhaps her savings are just short of being able to afford the painting, and she does not wish to ask her parents for help. Or perhaps she simply wants to obtain something through the efforts of her own two hands. However, what I am most worried about is that if Miss Lilac did manage to buy the painting, it would then follow that she would meet with members of Mockingbird. If this is so, she may end up in danger. So, could I be so bold as to ask you to accompany me to another location? Once we are there, I should be able to confirm where exactly that painting will end up.
You seem to have something about which you would like to inquire. Please, go ahead. How come you know so much about this sort of thing? I've merely dabbled a little in such things. I would not consider myself an expert. I understand your confusion. However, this concerns my past. It also concerns my nemesis. Lycon's nemesis? Perhaps it's one of those creatures from old civilization films who happen to like a certain crimson liquid that get into fights with wolf people whenever they come across one another. I believe your imagination is running away with you. In any case, that past is not pleasant. All right, well, I'll let you off the hook now, but I'll keep it in mind. Thank you for your understanding. As a matter of fact, I once had dealings with these intermediaries due to... Uh, well, I had my reasons. Many of them are so cunning, they will take advantage of any weaknesses they perceive. It takes patience and effort to deal with them. If you ever come across such merchants in the future, please be careful. And do not give your trust lightly. Seeing as Miss Lilac has already obtained the painting, she must be meeting with the people from Mockingbird soon. We must stop her before that happens. She should have just finished her supplementary classes. Let's head over and take a look. Miss Lilac, please. We have no ill intentions. And I do not agree with what those other students said about you. I merely want to warn you that Mockingbird is suspicious. It is possible you may encounter danger if you go. Even if I'm in danger, it doesn't concern you. In the end, you're just an attendant that my parents hired. Why are you trying to stick your nose into everything? In any case, you're probably just like those other people. You must think I'm a freak, just like they do. Well, I'm so sorry that you're forced to take care of someone who only causes trouble, who no one loves, who's edgy and delusional like me. I've never thought that. Miss Lilac, you are the respectable, important employer of Victoria Housekeeping. 
We would never treat someone like yourself with such utter disrespect. But you weren't even willing to listen to what I said. <sighs> My most sincere apologies. My knowledge is lacking. I have yet to better understand popular subcultures, such as what being edgy truly means. I shall make sure to take lessons and educate myself on it. Is there really a need to take lessons on being edgy? It doesn't matter anymore. This is all just the price I need to pay to become a companion of justice. I bought the painting so I can finally meet with them. The people at Mockingbird told me that I'm the most promising recruit yet. I will join them and become a companion of justice! You cannot stop me! <sighs> I understand. If that is your wish, I will not stop you. I will help you fulfill it. You... Uh... I'm meeting with Mockingbird at the Ballet Twins at this time tomorrow. You know, I can in fact do this by myself. I don't need you. I've got a carrot and I've prepared weapons to deal with the ethereals. So, I don't care if you come or not. It's up to you. My apologies. I have brought shame to myself by making Miss Lilac feel uncomfortable. I have failed in my duties as an attendant. Are you really going to do this? To help grant Lilac her wish? Yes, I will. However, the wish I will help her fulfill is what her heart truly desires. If I'm correct in my suspicions, she doesn't simply wish to join Mockingbird. That's only what's on the surface. She has other needs, emotional needs, that are truly what she seeks to fulfill. The fish has taken the bait. By fish, you mean... That organization calling itself Mockingbird has contacted me. Master Proxy, may I ask you for a favor? Please, this is something only you can do. 